Thank you for joining me today at Fit After 50. My name is Paul. These are my home workouts. I do just for you. I hope you guys enjoy as much as I do. Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. This is not a beginning session. Today is a metabolic training beginner session. What makes a beginner session, however, is the fact that we're doing 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. But first, we're gonna start off with a warm up. So grab your weights. We're gonna start for one minute. Dumbbell around the waist. We are jumping right into this today, guys. Three, two, one. And we're just gonna rotate that dumbbell around the waist. Go right to left, left to right, whatever makes you feel good. We're just gonna warm up for a minute with this exercise, followed by two more exercises for the warm up. Like I said before, what makes this a beginner session is the fact that the rest intervals are a little bit longer. So they're 30 seconds on throughout all the exercises today. So if I didn't introduce myself yet, my name is Paul. This is Fit After 50. We are working out from home like we do every Monday and every Thursday for about four and a half years running now. So I'm just gonna reverse this. Try not to drop the dumbbell. If you drop it behind you, it's okay. If you drop it in front of you, you probably will land on your foot. So do the best that you can. I always try to do best I can for you guys and we always work out together. So we have three, two, one second left and just relax right now. Put the dumbbell down or throw it down in my case. And now we are gonna go into a squat, nice and easy squat, get the legs warmed up before we get started with our main set. If you wanna keep your knees apart, that's fine. If you wanna keep them together, that's fine. Whatever is comfortable for you, we are just warming up, getting the blood flowing a little bit this morning. All right, we have about five, six seconds left before we get started. One minute of squats, go at your own pace, whatever you're comfortable with. And here we go. One and two. Whatever works for you. My heels are coming off the ground a little bit today. My knees are not cooperating greatly, and that's okay. This is after all fit after 50. So there are good days, there are bad days, and most of them are somewhere in between, right? Nice and easy. Keep on squatting, get those legs warmed up, get that heart rate moving a little bit, get that blood flow going. Let's go. We got a little less than 30 seconds left. Keep it up, about 15 seconds left. Stay right here, stay with me. Down and up, down, five seconds, three, two, one, and shake it out. All right, next exercise is the dumbbell around the world. The ceiling here is about this high, so I'm gonna do this while I'm kneeling down on the ground. Feel free to stand up, you're just gonna take a dumbbell and move it around your head, and then you're just gonna switch directions and move it around your head in the other direction. Like I said, I'm going to kneel down. If you guys have more than I do, which is about six, seven, of ceiling height, you can do this standing up. This is also a great core warm up and exercise. Three, two, one, and let's go. And just move that dumbbell all the way around. Get a good stretch, not a race at all. We haven't started the workout yet. We are just warming up. You can switch directions whenever you feel like switching directions. For reference today, I am using a 20 and a 30 pound dumbbell. Use whatever you're comfortable using. I wanna switch directions again. As you get better, you can pick heavier weights to challenge yourselves. So those 30 second intervals are really challenging. You wanna you want be really tired at the end of each 30 second interval. Let's switch directions one more time. And keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. All right. The next set of exercises, next eight sets of exercises are gonna be 30 seconds long, 30 seconds interval rest sessions. So the first one is a pick up and a curl. So you're gonna squat down, pick up the dumbbells, give me a curl. We're going for 30 seconds. Now this is where the workout starts. I want you guys working hard and do as many repetitions as you can within those 30 seconds, all right? So we gotta stay started in three, two, 
One, and let's go. Pick up the weights and curl up. Pat them down and curl. And up. And up. Keep it up. Less than 10. Two, last one, and 30 seconds off. And if you guys are new here, these workouts are also workouts for me, just like the workouts for you. So you'll see me struggling. You see me with my nose running sometimes. You see me hopping and puffing. I love working out with everybody else. Feels like a nice group session. All right, now we got a wood chopper. We go 30 seconds in one direction, 30 seconds break, 30 seconds in the other direction. So grab that dumbbell. Three, two, one, and let's go. Come on. Ten seconds. Three, two, one and weight down. Now we're gonna take a 30 second break and we're moving into the other direction. Whew. It's gonna be exercise number three. So we'll have five left after this exercise. Whew. So you guys are coming down like this. It is much easier to move a little bit and let your heart rate come down than it would be to actually lay down on the ground and pass out. All right. We need this direction. Now we're going to switch directions. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep it up. Halfway there, a little bit more. Keep it up. Come on, stay with me. Five, four, Two and one. All right. With the dumbbell on the ground, we have another exercise coming up. Exercise number four. It's gonna be our, our even push up. So I'm gonna use the dumbbell as a prop. Push up on one side, walk over to the other side, push up on the other side. So one arm is gonna be a little bit higher than the other. Whew. Heart rate starting to move. Nose is starting to run. You guys ready to go? Two, one, let's go. So push up, walk it over, push up, walk it back. That's all we're doing. Your own pace. If you have to get down on your knees for the push up, do that. It's okay. After all, this is a beginner workout. Not everybody can do push ups for 30 seconds. Best that you can, that's all we ever ask. And that's it. That was our uneven push-up. And now we're moving on to one of my favorite exercises, which is the skier. So it's basically a two-arm swing, kind of like if you're cross-country skiing. So I'm calling them skiers. All the way up, all the way down, 30 seconds. I'm still using the heavier dumbbells. This could be tough on you. So if you have a lighter set of dumbbells, if you're using 30s all the way around, use something maybe that's half the weight. And let's go. Work it, come on. Up, up, use those legs, up. That's where you get your power from. 10. Five seconds left. Two, one and slowly put the weight down. All right, I'm gonna switch to a little lighter dumbbell on this one. Gonna go with the 20s, and we have our lunge pass on there, so you're gonna lunge forward, pass the weight underneath your leg, lunge back, the weight should be in the other hand right now, lunge forward, pass it back and under from the other side. Nice and easy. All right. Got my weight, got three seconds left before we get started. Two. 
one, lunge, pass. Now the dumbbells on the other side, pass from the other side. And it's here, and pass from this side. This ensures that you get a nice deep lunge so you can get that weight underneath that leg. Keep moving. Five seconds. Let's get one more. Three, two, one, and this one is over and done with. All right, now we got a goblet squat kneel down. So goblet squat meaning you're gonna grab that weight, grab it like a goblet, and then we're gonna kneel down and get back up as you are seeing in our preview right about now. All right, we're almost done guys. We have two more exercises left. Let's knock this out. Got a dumbbell. It is grabbed like a goblet and we are going to kneel down and get back up. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Down, down, up, up. Now you can go with the other leg now. Down, down, up, and up. Keep moving, and up. About 10 seconds left. Up, down, down, up, up. Just adding an extra weight. This is the last rep, guys. Three, two, one, and weights down. All right. One more exercise. One more, one more. And we got more push-ups. Align your weights a little wider than shoulder width. We're gonna go white push-up on the weight and a narrow push-up in the middle. So a narrow push-up is gonna work much more of your tricep than the white push-up will. All right, so we got white on the weights. Once again, if you don't wanna do a deficit push-up like this, just do it on the floor. Again, you can stay on your knees if you need to. All right, three, two, one, and let's go wide and then narrow. And wide and narrow. And give me another wide one. And narrow one. Keep going. And last one. And that's it. All right. Sorry about the sniffles today. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we have 25 seconds left. We are moving on to the core portion of this workout because all these beginner workouts end with a nice core portion. So we're going to do up and overs. So what I do, set my weights up like this so I can be, bring my feet over. If you lay them down, that's okay. If you don't have any weight, it's also okay. If you don't want to use weight for this, just going to try to bring my feet over without knocking the dumbbells over. Are you guys ready? That's it. That's it. That's all they're just doing. We're doing it for a minute. Hop over. Beautiful, you guys are looking good. Keep it up. Keep it up. 30 seconds left, a little bit less. Keep, keep it here. Stay with me. Once again, if you don't have the weight, if you just want to do leg raises, do leg raises. You can twist like I do, twist like I do. You got 10 seconds left, almost done. Three, two, last help, and one. All right, almost done, guys. We have one exercise left, and we are done for the day. And we're gonna do weighted Russian twist. So I'm gonna grab my 20 pound dumbbell. If you don't want to use a dumbbell list, it is a minute long. It's not easy. I'm going to use my 20 pounder. If that gets heavy, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop it to the ground. That's it. As long as we get our minute. You guys ready to go? Three, two, one. Legs up. And let's go Russian twist. Boom. Boom. Bring that weight across your body. All the way down to the ground. Feet are up. And if your feet are down like this, quite all right. If you don't have a dumbbell, you're doing this, beautiful. If you get your feet up, beautiful. Either way, work it with me. 40 seconds left. Keep twisting. 
Halfway there. Twenty seconds. Keep it up. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Three, two, and one. And let me get up. And we are done, guys. Thank you for joining me today at Fit After 50. My name is Paul. These are my home workouts. I do just for you. I hope you guys enjoy as much as I do. Don't forget, they do come out every Monday and every Thursday for about four and a half years running right now. I think there are over 450 workouts on the channel. Thanks for joining me today, guys. My name is Paul, and I'll see you guys during your next workout.